So let's start by looking at what Unity actually is and why it exists. Now in the last few years, gaming engines have been gaining popularity in the construction industry because of all the real-time features that they provide. Now, most programs these days in the construction industry are 3D based. So people coming from that side of the fence are already used to working with 3D objects. And usually a game engine like Unity would complement the types of features that you would already be used to in your own software. And because of standardization of file formats across all these 3D industries, it's becoming easier to move your geometry between these applications. But you typically run into two problems. The first is that most design applications like Revit that I have open here are very detail orientated. So whereas creating geometry for Unity or for any game that would run in real time requires you to optimize and use all kinds of tricks to get a very lightweight model, something like Revit doesn't care about that. In fact, the more detail you can add, the better for the types of projects that you would do. So you usually end up with these massive 3D models that don't really lend themselves to real-time visualization or real-time usage. The other problem is that BIM, BIM, or Building Information Modeling, is a very important aspect of working in the construction industry these days. So that is just as an example, if I were to select anything here, for example, let's say that wall, and we look on the properties, you would see that there's a lot of metadata that's assigned to this. So that gives a little bit of intelligence to the program in that it allows it to actually know what it's looking at or what I'm working with. If we just look at that one, you will see that there's a base constraint. So it's telling me which level this is on. If I go down, it's probably going to have a top constraint. So it's going up to a certain level. It will also have a material assigned to it. Now, if you look at something like Unity, if you assign a material to something, that's really just giving it visual properties. Whereas something like Revit, if you assign a material, there are a lot of other properties assigned to it as well. For example, the density of the material, the fire retarding properties of the material, and things like that that are really important to someone in the construction industry. And in a lot of cases, you don't want to lose that. Now, in the past, if you wanted to export this and use it in Unity, you would have to export it maybe as an FBX file, which would then give you the geometry. Then you would have to optimize that either manually through something like 3ds Max, or if you want to automate the process a bit, something like Pixies. And then you would also have to export the metadata, all of these properties, separately, and somehow in Unity link it again. Now, you, in Revit, for example, you could do that by using Dynamo, which is, which is like a visual scripting language for Revit, to export all of the data. But then you would either have to manually link it back in Unity or write a script to take all of that data and assign it to the proper elements in your scene. Another problem, for example, is Revit is notoriously bad playing with others. So you can't just export a FBX and have all of the materials available. You would have to go into something like 3ds Max, convert the materials into something that Unity would understand, and then export and assign it again. So while the process was certainly possible, it was very time consuming and it sort of put a cap on how much Unity can be incorporated into your workflow in your office. Because typically in a construction project like this, there are changes happening constantly even while the building is being built. And to have all of those changes synced back into your Unity model is a very time consuming process. So usually what we would do is just use Unity in the beginning to do a presentation and then not really use it again, again, because it takes so much time to sync all of the changes. So Reflect aims to answer that problem by providing you with a plugin for Revit and SketchUp at the moment, and probably by the end of June for Navisworks as well. You can, you can export your model right from this parametric application that you work in and have those two models still linked. So if I make changes in Revit, the same changes will be updated in Unity. Not only that, but if you look at the model here, it actually brought over all of it actually brought over all of my materials. So if I, for example, select something, let's just use the surface there. You will see that there's a metadata script that was attached to that. And if I expand that, all of those properties or metadata elements that I have in Revit are now also available here. Not only that, but all of the materials are also kept and all of the UV map mapping is still correct. So I don't even have to go and fix anything in 
Unity, it all looks exactly as I would expect it to. Now let's go ahead and look at how do you install this.